Welcome back. Uh, let's see, what are we doing? Um, I don't want to do Cerberus yet. Guess we might as well do Garrus's mission. Um, which is in the Kepler Verge Herschel system. Isn't Doctor at risk there too? It is, so I guess we'll do both of those. Um, also, I looked it up, and the um, interesting is if you go through the menu, it likes to load the image. When you press U, it does not. Um, I looked it up, and um, you get the Paragon mission at eighty percent Paragon, um, and there's sixteen squares here. So this was 75%, so we should be pretty close. According to the Bassvict Wiki, you can also get the Renegade mission after you get the Paragon mission, or the other way around. But then you need 90% of Renegade score. Is that possible, I wonder? Like, is there enough, like, um, morale score in the game that if you just, okay, I do Paragon up till now, do that mission, and then just, uh, you know, become an asshole for the rest of the game. Is it possible to reach 90% Renegade before uh, you run out of missions? I don't know. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. That's what happens when I drink soda before I record. Um... Anyway, wonder if anybody's ever tried that. It's definitely not something I'm interested in doing. Um, there is, if there was, a, an unknown in the other asteroid belt, so this one's probably clear. Just checking it to be sure. Doesn't look like it. There is some cobalt here. Uh, we've done everything else here, I think. What's in Gorgon? Uh, Argos Row. Oh, that's Depot Sigma 23. Yeah, we just did that. And Hydra was in the beginning. That was uh, the uh, UNC Distress Call mission. All right. This is why, with this game, if you want to make sure you did everything, you basically need <laughs> notes on every mission, like I'm using from my original Let's Play. Um, Alright, we are heading to the Kepler Verge. Don't remember where that is. It's there. And uh, let's do Garrus first, which is Herschel. to survey thus far. Um, oh yeah, this is a ship mission. I like those because they're faster. Private owner, Dr. R. Hart. Who we know is uh, Garrus's doctor, Salion. So obviously Garrus has to come along here. And, um, let's bring Ashley. Don't really remember what you face here. This room is very empty. I mean, I like driving around in the Mako, but sometimes it's nice to just go in, do a mission, and be done, rather than um, t 
test subject. I do not think we can save them. So, let's not try, <laughs> I guess. They're basically husks. Or Thorian creepers, I guess. Um, just weaker, and they don't have the shield effect that husks do. behind us, because I flung him over here. These ships have windows? I never noticed that before. I guess they do. You can actually see outside. Kind of cool. Kind of not important. Actually, just doesn't have any useful offensive powers except for this one. Um. One more. Yeah, sure, sniper him from that distance, but it was pretty effective. Clear. Alrighty. I don't recall if there is more. I'm just looking for stuff. You know, as per usual. I don't remember if there's more to attack us on the way out or something. Some missions like to do that. Um, that door's locked. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Salion. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please. Don't let him do this to me. We'll take him in, drop him off with the military. But we have him. We can't let him get away. Not again. We're not letting him get away. We're, we're, we're arresting him. If he dies, we'll never know what he's been up to, or how he did it. We'll take him in, interrogate him, and he'll serve his time. I... Okay. You're right. You're a very lucky Salarian. You owe the commander your life. Oh, thank you so very much. And he does not want to come quietly. But he is also not very strong. Kill confirmed. And so he dies anyway. What was the point of that? You can't predict how people will act, Garrus. But you can control how you'll respond. In the end, that's what really matters. Yeah. I don't think I ever met anyone like you, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here. Salion's medical equipment is stained with the blood of many species. Pale blue, violet, orange, and more than a few dark red. But his work has ended here. Time to head back to Normandy. To Normandy? In France? Not... you don't mean the Normandy? Um, not before we raid the place. Wow, grenade upgrades. We haven't seen those in a while. Thermal Armor 7. Interesting. Is that good? No, it's not. Not better than what he has, anyway. Um, this one has way more shields. Slightly less tech biotic protection. That might be worth it, though.
Um, had a grenade upgrade. That's what I was looking at. Fusion explosive. However much it was. Um, eight, I think. Also, did I level up again? Yes, I did. Alright, lift specialization. And singularity, we're not. Only nine levels left. Um, yeah, they rebalanced it so you can easily, more easily reach the max level, even if you play the game only once, which in the first original uh, game was basically impossible. I think I got to level 54 in uh, the Let's Play, 53 or 54 anyway. And you can get a little higher if you, uh, you know, take the trouble to get out of the Mako every time to, to kill, which fortunately also doesn't make a difference here. But you definitely can't reach 60, even if you kill every single enemy on foot. It is not possible to reach 60 in a single playthrough. Ashley is actually way behind. Didn't really end up mattering in this mission. And I'm still just kind of going to spread everything around because I don't really know what else to do with her. Oh, that was the wrong button. There. Oh, and Garros also has four points. Should have looked before the mission. Uh, not that it really mattered. Do you have anything I really care about? No, let's just do sniper rifles. And... I don't know, assault training. And armor. Alright, which is a trick. There's more stuff here, though. More bionic amps. Uh, doubt any of those are better than what I have. They're not. More Turian armor. armor. Nah. Not worth it. That door's still closed. Is there anything in here? Doesn't look like there is. So we'll move on. Don't remember there being anything in here either. No. Takes care of that though. And we have another mission in this cluster. Um, let's see if there's anything that scan. Oh, there is an unknown. Platinum. We need the platinum so Dr. Chakras can build a giant statue of herself. That's a reference to um, some comic somebody <laughs> drew. That was about Mass Effect 2, though. Um, if you can find it, it's really funny. Maybe I'll remember to link to it. I probably won't, so 
Feel free to ask Message for coming it. in. Patching it through. I've received some information I thought you'd want to see, Commander. Someone is killing former Alliance scientists. There have been four deaths in the past month. I'm happy to look into it, Admiral. What can you tell me? We found a connection between the scientists and you. They all worked on a classified project several years ago, on a coups. This can't have anything to do with what happened to me on a coups. Those Thresher Maws killed dozens of soldiers. If this was more than just an accident, we need to know. Commander, Shepard, what you do with this is up to you. I just thought you'd want to know. There was one other scientist on the project, Dr. Wayne. I'm transmitting his last known coordinates. Good luck. Fifth lead out. Um... Okay, is that about this mission? It's possible. I guess we'll find out. Um, let's see. Let's take... Rex and Caden. This planet looks familiar. Is this a uh, shifty cow planet? Was that grass always here? Or is that remake only? I think that might be a remake only. I would have remembered that. Um. Yeah, that's this. UNC Cerberus was blinking. Is that what because of what uh, Hacker just said, or is that because of this? Yeah, it has. It has to be this. Makes no sense that it would be Cerberus. We'll see. I guess. Either way, we'll find out. Um, and we'll start with that anomaly. Some s s weird things floating around here. Hopefully no one's allergic. That's a glitchy lighting thing. That doesn't seem to be an actual enemy. I think whoever's left is probably behind the silo. Oh. You survived that fall. Alright, um, I'm gonna go get that, uh, ore first, so I won't forget. Alright, um, is everybody upgraded? No? Kaden, um... Throw and lift. 
and Rex. Throw and warp. I'm good, right? Yes. Uh, ammo upgrades. Grenade ammo upgrades. Can I still save? Yes, I can. Which means I don't have to redo the crates uh, when I come in. Finally! Um, he's like just rushing me. Krogan. Two can play that game, though. The Krogan game, right? we have one of our own. Ah. Oh. Cadence being useless. You don't pay attention for two seconds and they just love to start dying. Um, I can do something about that. I'm ready. Die, he died. I like it when they say shields is able, because then I'll notice. Go, go, go! There you are. He thought he could get us with immunity, but, or, you know, live a little longer with immunity. He was wrong. Where is this guy? There you are. It's not a good place for a sniper to be, you have no line of sight. No, you, in fact, must die. Perimeter clear. All right, well, that wasn't too bad. I'll, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Biotics make everything easier in this game. Um, actually got a better, or got Krogan armor, it's actually Nah, it's not really worth it. 
Wait, I got some more amps. Anything better than what he has? No. Anything better than what Caden has? Um, yes. Omni tools would be nice, but you know, can't have everything. Some new light human armor would be nice too. You have a good shotgun, don't you? You do. Um, that's fine. In this game, biotics are just so much more powerful than... There was more in here. Um, than uh, most other powers. I think it's because nobody else, no other power set, tech or combat, has good crowd control. You really have no choice but to rely on biotics for that. And the more you have them, the easier that makes it, especially because this game has quite a few enemies that like to rush you, not just husks and creepers, but even the Krogan and some normal enemies just love to rush at you. They don't know that they're playing a carver shooter. I can't go that way. Stay back! I've got no grief with you. All I want is this bastard. Please! He's a madman! Mr. Toombs, you're insane! You need help! Shut up! You don't get to lie! You don't... Shepard? My god, Shepard, is that you? So this is the uh, mission related to the sole survivor background. Toombs? But you were on a coos. I, I saw the Thresher mob pull you under. They took me, Shepard. The scientists. You can't prove any of this. This man is delusional. See, they were running tests on the Thresher Maws. They let those things hit us just to watch and study. I woke up in a holding cell. The scientists were delighted I'd survived. Now they had someone to run tests on. Tombs, I, I didn't see anybody. If I'd seen you, I would have come back for you, I swear. You can't believe Tombs. He doesn't have any proof. I demand a fair trial. Commander Shepard was there. She knows the truth. This man deserves to die, Shepard. For you, for me, for everyone else in the unit. Are you with me? Of course, you can still do this mission, even if you are not a soul survivor, but you get a little bit more personal dialogue this way. You're better than this, Tombs. You're not like them. Don't tell me who I am. You got away with a few scratches and a scary reputation. The rest of the unit died, and I was tortured for years, Shepard. You can't judge me. You don't have the right. Tombs, if I could have helped you on a coos, I would have. All I can do is help now. Let me. Okay. I'm no murderer. They couldn't make me one. Just as long as he goes to trial. Maybe the screaming will stop now. I don't know. Those bastards can't hurt you anymore. Joker, tell the Fifth Fleet we need a ship for pickup. Aye, aye, Commander. All right, Tomb stares morosely at the floor, lost in his memories. You give the scientist a shove towards the door. Your mission is complete. The Alliance courts will take it from here. And then you don't get to look around anymore, which this game rarely does, but it did this time. And I think we're done on the planet. I don't know if you could go back in, actually. You might be able to. Um, alright. I think at this point, I want to flip the script. I am gonna go do Vermeer. 
which I have never done before anything else. I always do that last. Kind of interested to see what if it makes any difference in dialogue or whatever. And if I would know, because, you know, I don't remember it that well. Um, I'm just kind of curious to see what happens if I do things differently. Which does mean we're going to say goodbye to either Ashley or Caden. But uh, we'll just have to live with that. Um... Wait. Report to Hackett. Message coming in. Patching it through. I reviewed your report on the situation, Commander. I'm glad to see you were able to take Dr. Wayne in alive. Now we can put him on trial and get some answers. Corporal Toom seems to have found some closure. Hopefully with therapy, you'll have a normal life again someday. I hope this helped you find some peace, Commander. Thank you. Fit fleet out. Um, I'm not going to Vermeer just yet. Because first we're going to go and talk to people. Um, take the other stairs again. That way we can talk to Liara first. Well, I mean, we could do that either way. But this way around, I naturally end up on that side. Yeah, it always just made sense for me to do Vermeer last, because you learn about it last. So I've never changed the order with that. Um, for my very first Let's Play, no, my very first playthrough, not my Let's Play, very first time I played the game, I did uh, uh, Pharos first, then Noveria, then uh, uh, Vermeer. And uh, I did Ferrum all the way first. I always pick up Liara first. That has never changed. And then later I swapped Pharaohs and Noveria around because Pharaohs needs the really high Paragon score, which I then screwed up in the Let's Play anyway. Um, and, uh, but Vermeyer has always been last, so this is going to be a first for me to not do that last. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I just wanted to talk. Of course, Shepard. What did you want to talk about? Um, nothing, apparently. We ran out of dialogue. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Um, that's probably true of quite a lot of the crew, then. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? We're all in for the duration. You can count on everyone to do their duty. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Nope, he doesn't have anything to say either. Well, that's good, because he might not survive. Don't want to miss out on any dialogue. For Garrus. For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought a lot about what you've told me. About not sacrificing innocence to achieve the goal. About finding the best way through, not just the fastest. And I've been thinking about Dr. Salion too. I'd convinced myself that he deserved to die, but then I started thinking about why I wanted him dead. I realized it wasn't because of what he did to those people. That was part of it, but I think most of it was because he got away from me. He escaped under my watch, and I didn't like that. I let it become personal. Well, I'm happy he learned uh, that lesson and is then going to forget it so we can teach it to him again in Mass Effect 2. Words mean nothing until you turn them into action, Garrus. What are you going to do about it? Well, I'm going back to CSEC. I think I can make a difference there. 
I'll also reapply for Spectre training, but I'll do it right. I won't compromise myself to get there. If the people I'm sworn to protect can't trust me, then I don't deserve to be the one protecting them. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Yeah, I still think it's weird that his arc is basically repeated in Mass Effect 2. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't maintain themselves. Not yet, anyway. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am? You think with all this technology, they could have self ma uh, maintaining rifles? Never a dull moment with you, Shepard. You ever go on any missions like ours before? Saving the galaxy from certain destruction? No. But I've had my share of adventures. Do you remember any that stick out? A few. I remember one time I was hired by a Volus diplomat. What an ass. I guess even politicians have need of mercs from time to time, huh? Time to time. If it wasn't for politicians, I'd be out of work. They're always looking for ways to get ahead. This one was no different. He wanted me to erase his past. Get rid of an old friend who knew too much. Huh. His old friend turned out to be an Asari commando. Uh, well, we killed like a dozen of them on Navaria, so it's not really that impressive. I can see where that might give you pause. What? No. Alina and I were old friends. Sort of. We met when we were both contracted to kill the same Turian. Neither of us wanted the other one to get him first. We spent more time fighting each other than tracking that Turian. An Asari commando mercenary. That's unusual, isn't it? I wouldn't say it's unusual. Mercs come in all shapes. <laughs> anyway, when I told Alina about the diplomat's contract, she and I had a good laugh about it. So what'd you do? Well, I wasn't going to lose the contract, but I respected Alina. In the end, I let her pick the location where we'd fight. She chose some old Solarian space station overrun with mercs and smugglers. That way we didn't have to worry about hurting any innocent bystanders. Huh. <laughs> she always was a bit of a softy. It's like in Dragon Ball Z when they take the fight to a wasteland. Which they always do. What happened on the station? What didn't happen? For two days I chased her through that station used my entire store of ammunition. Had to kill a bunch of mercs and use their crap weapons. By the third day, the station was barely holding together. The mercs were dead or gone. Life support was failing. But I had her. She'd locked herself in the med labs. She was trying to patch herself up. Damn tough, that one. Then just when I thought I had her, the station's core went critical. Barely made it back to my ship in time. I assume the Asari Commando didn't make it. I watched the station from a distance. I never saw her leave. And when that place blew, there was nothing left larger than a Turian's right nut. So I headed back to the diplomat to give him the good news and collect my pay. But before I got halfway there, Alina sent me a message. Better luck next time. <laughs> now, I'm not superstitious, but if someone can survive that, well, they deserve to live. At least, for a bit longer. What about the diplomat? He wanted her dead. I told him the truth. <laughs> Alina was still alive and she was really pissed. I told him if he wanted to live, he'd need me around to protect him. And he believed you. 
He kept me on as his personal guard until he died. Natural causes. Easiest job I've ever had. A little boring, but credits are credits. So long, Rex. Shepard. I like how Rex starts out not wanting to tell you stories and now he's just sharing them. I don't know if he opens up to you like this if you don't do his personal mission. Uh, not entirely sure about that. I don't think I've ever not done his personal mission. I've never not done every mission, basically. It's the point of playing this game if you're not going to do any everything. Hey, Shepard. Do you need something? I want to talk to you, but I guess there's nothing new to say. I should go. See you later. All right. Well, we picked up quite a lot of crap um, over the last couple of missions, so I guess it's time to do some inventory work. We're ready to go. Pretty rich by this point. 2.8 million credits. Nothing interesting to buy though from the our guy here. Hydrogen. But we'll come across other people. Also never had Vermeer not end with the Citadel lockdown because of that. So that'll be interesting. Wait, I st still don't have uh, the Paragon mission? Kind of surprised by that. I still haven't been told about that. Vermeer, probably one of my favorite planets in this game, looks wise. Um, we'll get more than one squad here. Uh, we'll start out with Caden and Ashley, because after all, one of them will not leave this planet. So let's give them. Man, I'm uh, reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration team. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. You've got a clean drop, Commander. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. Yes, because Mass Effect 1 does not have a lot in the way of good-looking planets, and then it seems like they overcompensated for in this one. And... Because of that, the improvement is also not as drastic for the... Um, Legendary Edition, but... Hey, it still looks good, I'll take it. Everybody leveled up? I guess so. And yeah, driving into the sea is an instant um, kill, so let's not do that. And we shall be facing quite a lot of Gef here. Well, I guess are around the corner. But dealing with them in the Mako is never really hard. You're just an animal. I was not paying attention to that, where they were. 
And it appears to have been there. I was talking earlier about the... Uh, sorry, dude. About how powerful biotics are in this game. Because they are basically the only effective crowd control you have, which with all the rushing enemies is very uh, important. Because if a bunch of enemies come rushing at you, tech or soldier really doesn't give you anything you can do about it. I guess neural shock, but that takes care of one enemy. And not... Um, not a group like Singularity does. Even Lift can sometimes lift more than one. And Mass Effect 2, that's kind of still the case. Ah, uh, we're jammed. But it's not so bad, at least like Incinerate and stuff like that gives you a little more like nice offensive options. Uh, also there's fewer enemies in Mass Effect 2 that rush you the way uh, Mass Effect 1 enemies do. I mean they're still husks, but uh, that's about it. And right there they are. They're shooting rockets at me, how rude. And um it's hard to talk and shoot at the same time. Pay attention to what I'm doing. Um, and especially like on higher difficulties in Mass Effect 1, uh, Biotics is very important because, like I said before, most enemies have some form of protection. And the. Um, Um, and lifting them or um, throwing them, can, especially lifting them, will stop them from being able to use that protection. Which gives you a major advantage there. Mass Effect 2, that's not really the case. And actually, your crowd control powers become less useful uh, at higher difficulty levels. Because... Uh, in Mass Effect 2, it's not just, oh, enemies that, um, uh, enemies have more health when you, uh, play in a higher difficulty. They'll actually have more protection. So even basic enemies... Why are you using your pistol? That makes no sense. Even basic enemies will have armor and uh, shields, when on lower difficulties they may not. And that makes a big difference, actually, because... What was my shadow doing there? Um, because things like Lift and Singularity do not work on enemies that have protection in Mass Effect 2. Which means that they're essentially useless um, it, it, on the higher difficulties because by the time you've taken care of shields and armor, most enemies are almost uh, dead anyway. Oh, right. You assholes. 
So it's, it's rarely useful to actually do that. Um, that's not going to be useful against the Geth, is it? Uh, Aspect 2 in general is very... Like, um, this isn't going well. Is very strict. With the... Uh, Alright. No. On the enemy, please with what attacks do what against what enemy. Because, like, Overload, I think, in Mass Effect 2 does nothing against an enemy that does not have shields or is n not synthetic in some way. All this for just a hard weapon locker? Um, I would really, really like some actual weapon upgrades, because I still have people who have two slots that they don't use. No AA guns here, right? No. So, in Mass Effect 2 you have to be much more strategic about what powers you use where, and it's kind of important to have a good mix in your squad most of the time if you're playing at higher difficulties, but your, your actual crowd control powers, so lift, singularity, are nowhere near as useful, is what I'm saying. So that kind of makes biotics less um, helpful at higher difficulties the way they are in uh, in this game. And Mass Effect 3 is much more um, generous with powers. You're a Colossus. Um, because now you have more crowd control in even if you're tech. Because yeah, you have your drone, which I, uh, Mass Effect 2 also has, so that's something there too. But um, you also have the, the turret, and even Overload, if you specialize it to jump between enemies, is a pretty good crowd control weapon, because it stuns them. Um, and it do now does damage to everybody. So... That is just not anywhere near as big of a problem anymore. The, there are still some powers that are really overpowered in Mass Effect 3, especially um, Charge, the Vanguard power that does not exist in Mass Effect 1. Um, and I forget what the other power is that Vanguards have that recharges your shields, the, the smash thing. Which, the combination of those two things Um, really makes Vanguard's essentially invincible in Mass Effect 3, even at high difficulty. So, you know, um, they did kind of rebalance that for the multiplayer, but in the single player it's just as broken as it's always been, at least in the original. Can't speak for the... Um, Legendary Edition yet, of course. All right. Um, singularity and Lift. Caden can have Throw and Lift. And Ashley can have First Eight and Assault Training. We're just going down the line there. After you level up everything for Ashley, there's, like, I never have her use pistols or sniper rifles, so there's really no point in leveling her, her up after that point. Um, I still do, of course. Um, uh, because of that difference, I do think that, um, Mass Effect 2 is the genuinely hardest game on Insanity. Because they don't, because Mass Effect One on Insanity, yeah, it does get harder, but it mainly just gets slower, because all enemies are bullet sponges, and all of them have protection. 
which I guess because they changed how immunity works is slightly better, would be slightly better in the Legendary Edition, but still. Whereas Mass Effect 2, you really need to change your strategy because of the extra layers of protection enemies have. And Mass Effect 3, I think I said it before, is just not hard if you're used to the multiplayer. Single player is kind of a walk in the park, even at the insanity. And there's just certain things that are very strong in uh, Mass Effect 3. Like I said, the Vanguard powers, also uh, infiltrators, their cloak and uh, power usage is kind of uh, overpowered. Because in Mass Effect 2, Cloak gives you a damage bonus on your weapons, but it does not um, the allow you to... It's keeping the Normandy at bay. It does not let you... Uh, can I hit anybody? It does not let you use power until your uh, cloak has... Uh, cooled down because of the linked uh, power usage. And your cloak slow, uh, cooldown is slow enough that you can't really use any other powers during cloak. So if you're really playing Infiltrators as a sniper in Mass Effect 2, you kind of Clear. end up using nothing but cloak. Oh, we actually got him. Heads up. Maybe? I don't know. Ooh, finally. Light armor? Is that interesting? I need weapon upgrades, not armor upgrades. And I don't need that. I need weapon upgrades other than that. It's just useless. Um... Who are you fighting? This guy, I guess. Down. Um, okay. That very nearly got me. Medigel deployed. Um... I don't know if this game actually has a health gate. Like, does it stop you from dying in one shot if your health wasn't low already? The way Mass Effect 3 does? It might. Oh, because we've got two destroyers over there. But again, Biotics makes this easy. Biotics makes everything easy. Perimeter clear. Come on. There you go. Nothing interesting though. Gotta open the gate. Turn the guns off. Ready that the grid is down, Commander. On approach to the Solarian base now. Out. Ready to move out, Commander. Not? Why is the gate not open?
I accidentally did it twice, but then I did it a third time. That should have worked. Can I drop off there? I might be able to. Might be faster on the way out. Okay. I think it does not work until you do the AA guns. Which, you know, could have been clearer. No, I can... I'm not really? I'm not allowed to go out here? If you park the Mako on the hill here, you can actually enter it from here. Which is kind of funny. But I didn't do that. At least you can do that in the original. Again, not sure about this version. There goes the Normandy. We got another gate left. We're up there somewhere. Without the, uh, uh, the, the XP gimp. Let's see if I can demonstrate what I was talking about. Uh, No, I'm not allowed to say. So, now that you don't get less XP for killing things in the Mako, I have no reason to leave these guys up here alive. Oh, a shock trooper, huh? Those, um, can be dangerous. Kaden, you want to actually do what I asked you to, or what? Oh. Well, better late than never, I guess. Krogan armor. The real oh, maybe I should not, you know, blindly wander into places. Uh, So too. More hard decryption. And it's actually legitimately hard. Would have made that there. Oh, come on. Yeah, you know what? Omnigel. I have enough of it anyway. Um, I really like some light human armor. That's the last one. We should be able to reach the Solarian camp. I can actually see the gates here. Interesting. Um, either I'm not close enough, or they stop you from doing that in this version. Oh well. That actually just made it take longer, then. 
Maybe it only works with the other one because the beach is higher. I don't know. I've never done it myself. I've seen somebody do it in a video. Wait. I'm going the right way? Yes, I am going the right way. I also like the music here. And the atmosphere with the storm. I'd go here on vacation. Commander, Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. If there's no uh, captain can explain when you get here. If there's no Geff anyway. You'd think this place would be more populated considering garden worlds are so rare. I think they might explain that in the planet's description. There's a which I didn't read this time. Alright, we arrived. Time so to hold the line. To do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirihi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here. It's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. Is he here? Have you seen him? No, but his Geth are everywhere and we've intercepted some comms referring to Saren. This is his facility, there's no doubt about that. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. Of course, if you've been talking to Rex, like I have been, you already know all of this. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army. He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. It looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. I'll be careful, but be ready, just in case. I'm always ready. Yeah, if you don't have enough Paragon or uh, Intimidate points and did not do his personal mission, then you can't talk Rex down, and I think Ashley has to kill him. Which is, of course, not what we want at all. The upcoming battle frightens me. But I know Saren must be stopped. What, what? What? How is that fair? I can't have enough decryption skill because I don't have it and I can't have anybody in my party right now. Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. For anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kim. Just tell me what you have available. We have limited reserves. We requested a fleet to destroy Saren's base. Instead, they sent you. Your request never came through. We'll just have to make do. That much is clear. 
It's nice to have Rex firing off his shotgun in the background. Let me see what you have. What little there is. Uh, well, you have a Meri Metagel upgrade. And the license. And none of that is useful. I'm concerned about Rex. Can we still trust him? With all these defenses, Saren must be hiding something big. The last thing we need is an. <laughs> I guess we're stuck here for now. I'm concerned about Rex. Can we still? They have more than one thing to say. Of course, I want to talk to my companions. The Krogan seems very upset. These Salarians are willing to die to stop Saren, and so am I. Don't worry, you're not at risk here. I am sensing that Rex no longer trusts us. What gave it away? The shotgun blast in the background? The upcoming battle frightens me, but I know Saren must be stopped. It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. The woods Rex keeps throwing at you. Watch yourself. I hope these Salarians can fight. They can, don't worry about that. If you need my help dealing with Rex, just let me know. It won't be an easy th I don't like the way Rex is behaving. He's really on edge. The Solarians seem pretty tough. I just hope they hold up under pressure. We're close, Commander. Saren can't hide forever. Be careful with Rex. He's not himself. I don't like the way Rex is behaving. He's really on edge. I've been on this mission far too long. My brood won't even recognize me. That could be a problem. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon, and if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren, tools. Is that what you want for them? No, we were tools for the Council once. We thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt if Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard, you've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Yay, we did it. Of course we did. Um, now I really should be getting that... Uh, Paragon mission. I'm surprised you were able to read the Krogan. You must be very persuasive to change the Krogan's mind. The stakes here are greater than any one individual. And more decryption skills that are too low. Wait, isn't this a mission that you can find out about? There's literally nothing I can do about it, which is very frustrating. Guess it's the advantage if you play engineer or any tech class, so you have those powers yourself. Your ability to calm the Krogan is impressive. This facility is well protected. It must be very important to Saren. Taking the facility will not be easy, but I am sure we will succeed. These Salarians are some of the best trained anywhere. We will need their help. Your ability to calm the Krogan is impressive. If we're doing this, then let's go. I'm going to tear this place a new one. Saren's base will be nothing but dust when I'm done. 
I'm ready, Shepard. Just say the word. If we're doing this, then let's go. I think you get some new dialogue from the other squad, squad mates after doing that. Watch that Krogan of yours. Who knows what he'll do once we're in the breeding chambers. We dealt with that. These Solarians seem pretty tough. I just hope they hold... Just say the word. I'm ready to go. I hope these Solarians can fight. Nice job with Rex. He's totally changed his attitude. It won't be an easy fight. We're close, Commander. Saren can't hide forever. Whatever you need, Commander, I'm right behind you. Nice work with Rex. I didn't think anything would calm him down. With all these defenses, Saren must be hiding something big. I can't believe you were able to calm Rex down. I guess I just have one new line each. I will fight with fire for you, Commander. These Salarians are willing to die to stop Saren, and so am I. Rex's mood has changed since you spoke with him. Can't you give me a hand, Tolly? You have the description skill I need. It's not how this works. Unfortunately. They really should have just counted your entire squad's abilities for this particular thing rather than make it exclusive to engineers. Um, I think we'd better talk to Captain Kirihi and start this mission. But we'll do that in the next video.